Hi there, Chris Keller with 123 Mutes here, and today we're going to show you a new widget that allows you to embed Fuse content. Now, what is Fuse content? Well, as you can see from this video, or well, this series of videos here, Fuse lets you take 3D photographs. So the user can use their mobile device to rotate around an object, um, and then on the playback, they can use their, their phone's accelerometer to rotate the image and use uh, see a 3d version of the image now this is re really useful for showing off um, your latest fashions uh, food in a restaurant cars all sorts of things that you can use it for and with our new wizard, widget sorry you'll be able to embed that content onto your site now in the desktop version as you can see here the desktop version allows you to use your mouse to rotate the content Whereas, as we saw in the previous film, if it's on a mobile device, a tablet, or a phone, the user can use their accelerometer. So let's go ahead now and jump into Muse and take a look at how we can embed, very simply embed this Fuse content into Muse. So here we are on a blank Muse site, and this is gonna be a quick tutorial because it really is very easy. So I'm gonna to go to my library, and I'm going to search for Fuse. Here we go, we've got Instant Fuse here. And I drag my Fuse widget onto the page. Now, first of all, it's going to load up a demo. Let's just take a look at that. And we'll hit a Preview in a preview the site in the browser. And we can see here that it auto plays and so you can see it rotating there, and we can use our mouse and rotate around. And here's a great little feature as well. If we click it open, we get a big light box, and it's fully responsive as well. So that's all good news for, for Muse. And let's take a look at, let's just close that down. Let's take a look at what we can do now. Size-wise, there is a size limit. So if I drag this to as big as I like, it's still going to resize to this size. That's the size limit that Fuse allows you to do on the page. So that's how big the image can be. It would be great if it can be bigger. Maybe they'll do that in the future, but that's how big the embed is. But what can we do with the actual widget? Well, first of all, we need to get the Fuse ID of the um, image we've created. We can switch the logo, the Fuse logo off. We can preload the data and we can set it to animate automatically. You saw that just now where it starts animating straight away. That's great if you've just got one on the page and you're kind of like wanting to let people know that this is a 3D image, that's great. If you've got more on the page, I would switch that off for the others so that you've just got one animating in and then the others are static, but it will tell the user that you know these are the same kind of images. And of course, on a mobile device, it'll be slightly different. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is get my Fuse ID. So how do I get that? Well, let me bring up my phone here. And we can see on my phone, if I switch over to my phone here, I'm rotating my phone and you can see those 3D images working great. That's really good. Okay, so how do we get um, an image? Well, if I go to my photos, oop, I'm recording one here. Um, let's go back. Uh, yes, go to my photos here. Uh, and here you can see a lovely uh, image of Dan. Here's Dan looking great in the garden there. What a handsome fella, nice beard. Right, and what we're going to do next is we're going to get the ID for it. So I'm going to, you've got these lovely filters you can run on there as well. If I want to make Dan a little bit more of a hipster, there you go, Dan's a hipster now. Uh, double tap to place, oh, I can add some 3D text on here. So I'm going to, I'm going to put uh, Dan. See that? And I can move that around. See that? I've got that down on his head there. Isn't that amazing? I'm doing this all in uh, 3D. And, ah, put a star. Oh, look at that. Lovely stars. How awful that looks. But um, that's just to give you an idea of the kind of things you can do. So now I've got my information popping up. Uh, I can export it out as a video, which is great. So I could export that out as a video and embed that on Muse, but I'm going to click on share. 
and what we will do next so that's now uploading and then once that's uploaded we can get our ID from it so I'm just going to click on one of these that's already done and I'll click on this one here and you can see I've got all these different options that I can do with Fuse as well I can embed it I can create a GIF I can create a video uh, preview to put on onto my site I can upload it straight to Tumblr I could send it to Twitter I can share on messenger I could export it as a live photo if you've got an iPhone that uses live photos share it on Instagram there's a ton of stuff that you can do but what we're going to do is we're going to look at the embed code and we're going to copy that now this gives you the same options as the widget but all we need from this to use in the widget is can we see here We've got this uh, this uh, this um, ID here, and that's the ID that we want. So WLB one LB. So we would just type that in here, and that into the fuse ID, and that's it. And that would be ready to go. So it really is very straightforward. To let me just hide the reflector a minute, and the. You've got your um, Fuse content embedded within your Muse page. So that's Fuse. That's how you use it. Now, I would recommend you go and have a play with it and see what you can do. Use case scenarios may be great for a restaurant that has some amazing dishes. Maybe you can t create 3D images. You could create 3D images of a car, a car sales room. Or what about... Um, Profile pictures. Dan came up with this idea yesterday of profile pictures on the page for your team members rather than just having static images, have these nice rotating 3D images. So um, there's a lot that you can do with it. Um, and we wanted to make this widget because we find Fuse fun. So there we go. So enjoy using it and thanks for watching.